Welcome back. What up, y'all? It is AK Educator underscore curls here, also known as Nia. And today, as you can tell by the title of this video, we are going to talk a little bit about this gel mousse combo that I have been loving. Okay. Um, so, for context, today is wash day. And if you see me looking here, just because my mirror is here. So, sorry when we're styling today, that's what it's going to look like. Um, today is wash day. And so, I have already washed and deep conditioned my hair. I have, um, we're gonna talk a little bit about what I washed my hair with today because I have been struggling a little bit with a dry flaky scalp around like my edges. And so I did a little bit of a switch up. Um, so we'll talk a little about that and then um, we'll dive into recording what this looks like in action, okay? Um, so let's get into what I actually washed my hair with today. So today I actually washed with an old faithful, an OG, something I actually used to use when I was relaxed, which is the Trader Joe's Tea Tree Tingle Shampoo. Um, this is a really nice shampoo. Um, and for me, it's really good for like, I used to get dry flaky scalp when I was relaxed and it literally like cleared all of that up, like instantly. Um, it's really, really clarifying and like detoxifying, which is really good. It doesn't have sulfates, um, so it has no laurel or laureth sulfates at all in this product. Um, and it has really good ingredients that my hair really prefers. Um, and so this gets you really, really clean. It is very medicinal smelling, and so if that's weird for you, you know, whatever. I prefer tropical smells, but it's a wash product, so for me, I'm not super pressed about it. So I shampooed with this and really scrubbed my scalp. This has actually cleared up the dryness that I used to have like right here and right here really, really well. And so I'm hoping that that will stay. Um, and so I've worked this back into my routine. So after I shampooed with this, I then did a layer of my moisturizing shampoo, which was the cleansed moisturizing shampoo, just to really get my hair clean. Um, normally I only use one shampoo, but today I was, I was feeling, I was feeling frisky. Okay. Um, and so I used another shampoo on top of it. So I used the cleanse moisturizing shampoo and this was really just to give some moisture back into my hair, um, but still clean. Okay. After I did that, I went in with a deep conditioner and the deep conditioner I used this week was the Camille Rose coconut water, um, deep penetrating mask. It's one of my favorites. It smells just like coconut milk. Um, smells really, really good, um, is a really thick deep conditioner. And so I sat with this on my hair for about an hour and a half, um, hour, hour and a half um, to really get it to penetrate. And I mixed it with a little bit of my Coco Nibs oil um, on my strands. And so that got me really, really moisturized. Then I rinsed in the shower. And when I rinsed in the shower, I then applied the first base to this amazing wash and go, which is the Uncle Funky's Outer Curly Magic Curl Stimulator in the shower. And so that's actually what's in my hair right now. I'm gonna take my hair down because I need to apply probably a little bit more, but I try to apply the Curly Magic in the shower because my hair is sopping wet. And the Curly Magic for me just applies so well when my hair is soaked. Like it is, when it is soaked, it just goes, it glides through my hair so nicely. Um, and gives me really, really good definition. And so that was the first layer of my wash and go in the shower um, and what I did first. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna apply a little bit more of the Curly Magic real quick. I don't know what is happening with this piece right here, but it's being weird. Um, I'm gonna apply a little bit more of the Curly Magic and then I'm gonna go on top of it with the Dew um, and section my hair out and add the mousse. This really gives me elongation that I love. So the Uncle Funky's Daughter is for me a much more elongating gel than my Camille Rose Curl Maker, um, which is one of the reasons why I really, really like it. But I like both gels for different reasons. Um, and they do different things for my hair. I get really good volume with the Curly, um, the curl Maker. And I, it takes me longer to get volume with the Curly Magic but I really love it for the elongation. Okay, so I just applied a little bit more of the Curly Magic back to my hair, um, just cause I took it down, just to give it a little bit more slip and glide, okay? Now I'm gonna section my hair out and this is where we're gonna go in with the mousse. I am gonna work in kind of these fifth, fourth sections, probably fourth sections um, of hair. So not as much as like my half part, but probably half of the half part. Um, so that's the two sections you see here. 
I'm going to pump into my hands, probably four or five pumps, and then work it on top of the gel. And then I just kind of like rake it through. You'll see like that one, my fingers glide through really easily, but you'll see my curls start to clump really, really nicely. See that? Okay. So that's that part. I'm gonna do the next section, which is this other half. And I do really like that when I do this one, I don't need to get really small sections. When I use my niche one, I do have to use really small sections because you have. I only use niche when I use the niche one. I don't use anything else, and so there is no gel underneath it. I did try it. I just didn't like it for some reason. The do and this is the better concoction, and so that's what I'm sticking to. Um, sorry, I'm trying to get these curls that are underneath because they're they're funny acting. Um, then I just rake and smooth, um, finger comb and smooth, try to get the best possible definition out of my hair. Then I'll take down and do the next section, break it apart, do my pumps, and apply the mousse into that section. Um, I'm really generous with this mousse, and that is on purpose. My hair does really well when it is the most saturated. Um, that is just what my hair really likes. Um, so I try to make sure that that's true when I'm applying product. Okay, I'm doing my second to last section on this one side. Then I'm gonna switch back to the other side and finish that side. But I'm really just trying to smooth, get the product in, make sure my hair is saturated, like completely saturated and smoothed. Now for the very last section of hair. Smoothed and saturated. All right. All right, so that's this half of my hair. I'm gonna do the other half now. Or finish the other half, because I started it when I first started. Okay, section my hair out, clip it, add some mousse, and really just make sure the mousse is saturating. Sorry, I need to adjust my towel. Saturating my hair. I'm trying to make sure I get it into my part into my roots, um, make sure that I take it down the strands. It just, my hair does so good. When it's like that. All right, section it one more time. Make sure I got that mousse all the way through my hair. Woo! See how my fingers just go straight through? That's how I know. It's doing what it needs to do. <laughs> this is just a really good combo for my hair. Like, my hair eats this up. It loves it. All right, the last, very last section of my hair. I'm gonna apply a little bit more to my middle part and that's it. All right, y'all. 
that's it. I'm going to do a 360 so you can see it. Sorry, I'm going to get all this hair off my hands first. I didn't lose a ton, but I did have like these straggly pieces. All right, the mousse is completely applied on top of my gel all over my hair. So that's what you see now. Okay, I'm going to do a 360 so you can see it. All right. And you see the definition, like, and the elongation is so good on this. Um, and so, yeah, it has become a holy grail combo for me. Um, and it has been doing me wonders, like, really doing me wonders when I'm styling my hair. So, it's, it's a combo I also plan to keep. Cause it's awesome all right so that's all i wanted to show you guys today my gel com uh, mousse combo this is like the hd the only combo i'm using right now that's gel and mousse because it has worked for me i can get about three days of hair with this there's moisture there's really good definition um i will typically i don't go more than three days even when i use a leave-in and so um i'll typically wash by day three or puff it and then wash the next day. It just kind of depends on how much frizz is in my hair. So that's it, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. As always, like, comment, subscribe, share with friends. And I'll see you next time. Bye.